How's it going everyone? The PlayStation Store has kicked off a brand new sale and if you're looking for some GTA Online of Megalodon Shark Cash Cards, I got some good news for you. Nah, but seriously, there's some other good deals available. But if you're looking for some GTA Online Shark Cards, uh, do I got some offers for you. We do have the weekend offer sale and uh, you know, man, for those of you into GTA Online, the Megalodon Shark Cash Cards are 15% off for $85, man. It's a good time to be playing GTA Online now, but seriously, Red Dead Redemption 2 is on sale, 67% off for $19.79. I mean, the game is absolutely tremendous. RDR 2 is one of my favorite video games, literally of all time. Has to be in my top 10, I would think. Um, but the fact we don't have a PlayStation 5 upgrade for that game is absolutely uh, criminal. Like, come on, Rockstar. I would imagine it's going to happen at some point, and I would imagine that it's not going to be a free upgrade. But at this point, like, we're four years into this generation, and I'm starting to lose hope, and I'm thinking maybe they'll upgrade this onto the PlayStation 6. Who knows? Um, but, yeah, I loved Red Dead Redemption 2. Thought it was a fantastic game. Think Arthur Morgan is a tremendous character. And I get people's criticisms with RDR 2. The slower start certainly is gonna push some people away, but I feel like how it introduces the characters, how it builds up to the latter half of the game, just tremendous, tremendously uh, done as far as that's concerned. But 1979 for that. It is available on PlayStation Plus Extra, but given that Rockstar games come into Plus Extra and they only come in really for a limited window, um, and that limited window is true for all third-party games that come into Plus, but Rockstar games even more so. It's usually 90 days to six months at most, so. You know, I would say it's a game worthwhile to have in your library, but that's just my two cents. Next up, we got Grand Theft Auto V, the premium edition on PlayStation 4, $14.99, PS5, it's uh, $19.99. Like, GTA V from a campaign standpoint, I think is great. Uh, always been more of a Red Dead guy over GTA, but GTA is still a good time. Mortal Kombat 1, 60% off for $28. Look, the game is plummeting in price, and plummeting might not even be the right verbiage to use, given that this game uh, came out back in September, so it's been nine months. Like, it's been been a little while but you know $28 for it I feel like is a sizable discount for it obviously with fighting games you do have content constantly being added you have characters constantly being added and uh it's not an ideal uh situation these days from in my opinion but you know what it is what it is every fighting game kind of adopts a similar strategy whether it be Street Fighter Mortal Kombat Tekken so on and so forth but uh, if you do want all the content you do got to get like the gold edition and so on and so forth Red Dead Redemption 1 30% off for $35. Look, Red Dead Redemption 1 to so many people is uh, one of their favorite games of all time. For me, RDR 1 is also one of my favorite games of all time. Played this back in 2010 and loved it back then. Outside of, you know, some dated mission design, there's the one mission early on in the game that I hated. Uh, but for the most part, it's a great game and how it connects to Red Dead 2. Like, they did a pretty good job of uh, making Red Dead 2 a prequel and, you know, obviously connecting to Red Dead 1. John Marston, much like Arthur Morgan, goaded as far as a main character is concerned. And I'm just a sucker for that Wild West theme. I much prefer Wild West. Um, over the GTA setting, but, you know, GTA is great in its own right, and Red Dead Redemption 1 is awesome, you get Undead Nightmare here as well, and thank the high heavens that they decided to put a 60 FPS patch, like, it's so crazy that Rockstar will do the absolute minimum, the bare minimum when it comes to stuff like GTA Trilogy and Red Dead 1, and then we have to celebrate a 60 FPS patch being introduced for Red Dead 1. But that is kind of the world we're living in when it comes to Rockstar and um, porting these games. So hopefully they do a better job going forward. I mean, I, I don't know what game. Max Payne 3, still another game they got to port. Let's get Max Payne 3 on modern consoles. So that would be pretty good as well. And let's try to do a decent job with that game's remastering or upgrade. Star Wars Jedi Survivor is 55% off for $31.49. Technical issues aside, which is putting a major thing aside, let's be frank, Star Wars Jedi Survivor is tremendous. It was one of my favorite games of 2023, and given how stacked 2023 was from a games lineup, uh, that says quite a lot. I love Jedi Survivor. I thought it was a significant improvement upon Jedi Fallen Order. You had more open levels to explore, you know, a couple of different uh, planets with their own, I don't want to say open world, but certainly a healthy level of exploration. I thought narratively it was really good. Uh, like, the second half, I think, was really strong. I know some people prefer Jedi Fallen Order from a story standpoint. I thought Jedi Survivor was damn good as well. And for $31 and change, yes, that's still a hefty price point for a game that at this point is 14 months old. Um, but I think it's worthwhile to play through. And yes, it does have its technical limitations. 
Uh, there was rumblings of them porting this game to PS4, which is just... That, that just sounds absolutely insane to me, but uh, you know what? If they can do it, more power to them. It would probably run, uh, you know, it would run like toaster settings, but uh, nevertheless. 3149 on that is pretty good. Bear in mind that that game is available on EA Access, so if you want to pay the $5 a month or whatever get access to a play through it that's an option as well star wars battlefront 2 is 599 it takes two fourteen dollars dead space remake down to 24.49 nice to see that get cheaper and cheaper also available on origin access or ea access i should say um Great remake of Dead Space, unfortunately, probably not going to see that franchise get continued as uh, I guess it didn't do commercially well enough, but, uh, you know, as I say, these things happen in gaming, and uh, Dead Space remake is great. I would highly recommend it at that price point. Hogwarts Legacy PS5 is $35. I would like to see that a little bit cheaper. I get that the summer update just came out, but, you know, the game at this point is 16 months old. Would like to see it at the sub-30 range, but uh, what can you do? Uh, Doom Eternal, $9.99. Obviously, that's a great deal for Doom Eternal. Uh, Injustice 2 is $3. Need for Speed Unbound, $10.49. Mass Effect Legendary Edition, $8.99 on that. Tremendous deal for Mass Effect Legendary Edition. Really Bioware at their absolute pinnacle. Those games are phenomenal in Mass Effect 2, much like Red Dead 1 and 2. Gotta say, Mass Effect 2 is among my... Uh, maybe not top 10, maybe top 20 games of all time, and maybe it might even slide into top 10. Like, when we talk top 10, you're talking, for all the games I've played, like, the real, real upper echelon. And I would probably say, you know, maybe both Red Deads don't even end up in my top 10. Red Dead 2 certainly does, Red Dead 1, I, that's something I really gotta sit down and think about with all the games I've played. But, uh, yeah, it's certainly in the mix of the upper echelon RPGs Mass Effect 2 is. And Mass Effect 3 I thought was really good as well. I mean, ending aside, the game I thought was damn good. And Mass Effect 1 shows its age, but still a worthwhile playthrough. And uh, yeah, $8.99 for the Legendary Edition, great there. Mafia Definitive Edition is $9.99. The Mafia Trilogy is $19.79. Essentially, you get one of those games for free, uh, given that each of them go on sale usually for $10, but you're getting all three for $19.79. So great deal there. Definitely would recommend it. Next up, Hi-Fi Rush, 40% off for $17.99. I mean, you guys already know how I feel about Hi-Fi Rush. The game is tremendous. Tango, uh, it's absolutely a, a shame that Microsoft decided to shut down Tango because not only Hi-Fi Rush, they did Evil Within and those games were great as well. Ghostwire Tokyo was really solid on top of that and Hi-Fi Rush was an absolute banger and they still shut down uh, Tango Gameworks, but, uh, yeah, Hi-Fi is awesome, and I guarantee you, a decade from now, there's gonna be, like, a Kickstarter campaign that's gonna create a spiritual successor to Hi-Fi Rush that's gonna get funded, like, a gazillion dollars, and, uh, you know, we'll be satisfied with that, I guess. Hopefully it doesn't turn out like Mighty Number no. 9. Uh, Top Spin 2K25 on sale, WWE 2K24. Dying Light, 85% off for $2.99. That's a pretty damn good deal for Dying Light 1. Marvel's Midnight Sun for $15 gamepad. Bioshock The Collection for $9.99. Gotham Knights for $14? Honestly? That's not too terrible of a deal. Like, I thought Gotham Knights wasn't an awful game. I thought it was okay. I think people were just gonna compare it naturally to the Arkham titles, and it certainly isn't at that level. But as a, you know, budget title, if you can get it for sub-15 bucks, I think it's pretty decent, all things considered. And you know, it is available on Plus Extra, so you can play that way, but for $14, not a bad deal. Uh, Plague Tale Bundle, Plague Tale Innocence, and Requiem, $32 on that. Pretty good for both of those games. Requiem still holds up in price. You can buy it standalone for $24. Was a Plus Essential game, one of the better Plus Essential offerings back in January of this year. Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order is $9.99. Deathloop and Ghostwire Tokyo, shout out Tango on those as well, as far as Ghostwire goes, but Deathloop. Also there, $33 on that. Outer World Spacer's Choice Edition is $24, Battlefield 2042 on sale, NBA 2K24, Dead Island 2 still $35, feel like that's a little expensive for Dead Island 2, but, you know, enjoyable game. The issue with Dead Island 2 is you kind of need to get the Gold Edition to, because, like, the story very much, like, the narrative uh, evolves with the DLC, so, uh, yeah, like, just getting the base game is kind of whack. Uh, Metro Redux, $449, obviously tremendous deal there, Dying Light 2 Stay Human, $24 on that is great. Immortals of Aveum, $21 on that. That was recently a plus essential title, but if you're trying to buy it, I would say, you know, $10 or less on that. Ghostwire Tokyo for $15 is great. Ghostwire Tokyo is a really, really solid action survival horror game. Once again, shout out Tango. Dishonored 2, $5.99. Prey, $5.99. Those are obviously really solid deals. After Us, $14.99. Metro Saga Bundle, $20.33. Last Light and Exodus Gold Edition for $9 is great. A Ghost Runner 2 Brutal Edition, $28 on that. Lego 2 2K Drive for 20 bucks. That was a plus essential game recently. Control Ultimate Edition, $9.99 is great. 
you've got Ghost Runner complete at $24. Actually, some for a weekend offer sale, some pretty decent deals. Ali Ali World for $9.89. That's a low-key banger as well. Definitely not going to get a lot of attention, but that's pretty good. So check out the deals available. A lot of retreads, but wanted to give you guys a heads up on that. That's going to do it for me. Let me know all of your thoughts in the comments section down below. Sound off there. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.